Welcome, Welcome to, to the Atacama, Atacama Desert. Desert. The Atacama Desert is a high desert plateau located in Chile, South America. It's the driest non-polar desert on Earth. And we explored its incredible landscapes with Exodus Travels taking in all of the best adventures and attractions. From the town of San Pedro de Atacama to the highest geysers in the world, these are the best things to do in the Atacama Desert. Well, this is very exciting this morning. We are at Sector Soncors. Yes, at the Los Flamingos National Reserve. So it's this massive salt flat, as usual around here in the Atacama. And there are three species of flamingos out here, and we're about to go take a look. Yeah, it's something I've always wanted to see. Uh, it's just to see flamingos in this kind of environment is uh, very unique. So let's take a look. There are three main lagoons in Sector Sancourse, with the Chaxa Lagoon being the best place to spot the flamingos. The lagoons are located at a high elevation of 2,300 meters or more than 7,500 feet. Chaxa Lagoon is located about two hours from San Pedro de Atacama, and you'll want to enjoy at least an hour walking through the trails that weave through the salt lagoons. When you come to the Atacama, you really need to come here. It's really special to see the flamingos flying around. They all join up in groups and take off. And it's the layering of colors that is really magnificent. I've seen flamingos in other places, but to see the layers of colors around the salt flats, it's, it's amazing. You are surrounded by rich layers of colors that lead across the vast desert to the surrounding mountains. And the flamingos put on a show feeding on the mineral rich waters and fly from one lagoon to another. I can smell the stench of flamingo. <laughs> this reminds me of a little bit of what the penguins smelled like in Antarctica. So it's quite funny. <laughs> Lots of fishy smell here, fish and salt. Hmm. Wow, we have arrived at Laguna Miscantes. We are at 4,200 meters here, and we have two volcanoes on either side of us. We have the massive 6,000 meters of the volcano Menacus, and behind me is the volcano of Miscante. And look at this amazing lagoon. You have to be really careful. I can't believe that you can drive right up to 4,200 meters. But when you get out of the car, you really feel the altitude. So make sure to take it slow. And that's okay, because you get to enjoy the spectacular views. To give you an idea of how high that volcano is, it's higher than Everest Base Camp and higher than Mount Kilimanjaro. And we're just standing right here looking at it. It's impressive, definitely, not only that you can drive up here, but just to see the contrast of colors between the yellow brush, the blue lagoon, and the red and brown in the mountains, it's absolutely beautiful. Off to the next lagoon. It's amazing that we walked more than 13,000 feet from one lagoon to another. Usually you would need to trek for days to get to this elevation. The lagoons are connected by a trail of rocks and you'll be able to see wild vicuñas roaming the landscape. These animals are related to the llama and the alpaca family and are now protected. Vicuñas are impossible to domesticate, so their in-demand wool is only shorn off them once every three years when they round them up from the wild. All right, we are in 
Val de Luna. This is one of the most popular places in all of Chile in the Atacama Desert to visit. Yes, and we're doing this, uh, the, the mare hike here, which gives us the best overview and the best look of this part of the Atacama Desert. Val de la Luna, or Valley of the Moon, is just 13 kilometers from San Pedro de Atacama, and it's famous for its stone and sand formations that look similar to the surface of the moon. The Atacama is one of the driest places on Earth, and many of this desert area haven't seen one drop of rain in hundreds of years. It's like you're on Mars. Dave isn't exaggerating when he says it's like Mars. In fact, NASA tested their Mars rover in the Atacama Desert due to the similarities of the two landscapes. It's definitely worth hiking out to the Mirador. It's about a 15 or 20 minute hike. If you stop a lot for photos like Dave and I, a little longer, but it is beautiful. What a spectacular scene. Cheers from Atacama. After hiking to the Mirador, most people make their way to the Piedra del Coyote for those postcard views of the Atacama. Weather changes quickly in the Atacama Desert. It can be 30 to 40 degrees Celsius, that's 80 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit during the day, and then easily drop to freezing when the sun goes down. So be prepared to feel a chill. Welcome to the El Tieto Kaiser. We have arrived at El Tachio Geyser, and this is the third largest geothermal area in the world. It's pretty incredible. We're at 4,300 meters, and it's about 13, minus 13 degrees Celsius. When you come out here, you want to come out in the morning because that's when they are all the most active. The El Tachio Geyser Field is located at 4,300 meters or 14,000 feet above sea level, making them the highest altitude geysers in the world. The best time to visit is early in the morning or when the geysers are most active. But make sure to layer up, it's freezing out there. And take your time because these are located at a very high elevation and you will feel the altitude. Unlike other lava fields, these geysers are heated by layers of hot rocks, not the magma. So they're not quite as pronounced or spewing as Yellowstone, but uh, they still do a lot of heat and hot pools and gas and steam. It's really a surreal environment. It's an interesting smell because you think that you're going to smell sulfur, but it really smells more like burning rock, like burning sand almost. Burning shale? I don't know. Burning volcanic rock? Ha! Huh, there you go. <laughs> well, it certainly is a popular spot. Lots of people here early in the morning. Tours leave San Pedro de Atacama before sunrise and the drive is about two hours. You'll then spend around 90 minutes exploring all of the hot pools and geysers. Our tour was included with our Exodus Travels trip, but tours can be booked in San Pedro de Atacama or through Get Your Guide starting at around $50. Well, after our morning at the geysers, what could be more spectacular than having breakfast overlooking them? Thank you, Ronaldo and Alex, for yeah. the wonderful breakfast. <laughs> Muchas gracias. <laughs> Even made an Americano. So nice. Drones are not allowed in many areas, and our guide Alex always let us know when we were out of bounds and safe to fly our DJI Mavic Mini 3 Pro. Please check the local laws before flying a drone, as laws are always changing. arrived at my tropic people the tropic of capricorn i was born in january i am a capricorn here it is the tropic of capricorn here in chile 
Located just off the side of the road, the Tropic of Capricorn is about 60 kilometers from San Pedro de Atacama. It's a small and short stop, but it is very cool to cross one of the five major circles of the Earth. Well, this is so awesome. I'm standing on the Tropic of Capricorn. This is the line. So cool. The Atacama Desert is the best place in the world for stargazing and tours can be booked for around $50 to see the night skies. No cell phones or cameras are allowed, but Dave went off on his own to take some night photos and the company we went with supplied some photos of our experience as well. You can definitely feel that this has been a backpacker's town for a long time. For sure. Yeah, it has a big infrastructure, lots of shops and markets, plenty of restaurants, and the prices to prove it. The town of San Pedro de Atacama is a sprawling town in the middle of the desert that is the perfect base to explore the Atacama Desert. There are plenty of shops, markets, restaurants, and bars. Well, this is a typical place to eat in San Pedro. It's all outdoor dining here with the fire behind me. And I have some great Chilean wine. Mm. Day tours can be booked in town to see any of the Atacama's top attractions. It's a great place to spend a few days just hanging out and relaxing. There's plenty of accommodation and we stayed at Hotel Diego del Almagro, which is located right in the center of the city. It's an excellent location that's walking distance to everything and there's free parking for guests. Plus, they have a swimming pool. There are other towns in the area worth stopping at, including the village of Tocaño and Soquer, where you can visit the historic church and enjoy some traditional food. The Atacama Desert is truly an adventure that is out of this world, with an area of more than 100,000 square kilometers spanning from northern Chile to the surrounding countries of Bolivia, Argentina, and Peru. This is one destination in the country that you don't want to miss. And these are the best things to do in the Atacama Desert. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel because we put up new travel videos from around the world each week.